We're going to continue on with our study of the Laplace transforms by seeing how we can use the Laplace transforms to analyze circuits in the frequency domain. We'll start by looking at how the, the uh, circuit elements, resistances, inductances, and capacitances, transform or how we move them or how they are represented in the frequency domain. They're going to, we'll then look at a number of applications using the, the Laplace techniques to analyze different types of circuits involving R's, L's, and C's. In particular, we'll start looking at the simple natural response of a series RLC circuit. We'll then look at the step response of a parallel RLC circuit, or the situation that we've analyzed in the past where you've got a DC voltage source that is switched into the circuit, and then see how we can use Laplace transforms to determine the uh, the response to that switching of the DC source in. We'll then look at how the Laplace transforms can be used to analyze circuits that are driven by cosine functions that are applied at t equals zero. We're then going to introduce the concept of transfer functions. Um, we'll derive the transfer function and show how transfer fun how the transfer how the transfer function for circuits can be determined. We'll look at the transient and steady state response as it relates to the transfer function. We'll then look at the transfer function H of S and the sinusoidal steady state and understand why when we're talking about the sinusoidal steady state or when we're only interested in the sinusoidal steady state, we can replace the Laplace variable S with just its um, oscillating form J omega. And finally, we'll look at um, how the impulse function is related to H of S or, or how we can use the impulse function to determine H of S. So first of all, looking at the simple resistors where we know that V is equal to I times R. More specifically, we're now going to be talking about V as a function of time and I as a function of time. So let's go ahead and write it as V as a function of time is equal to I as a function of time times R. Now let's take a Laplace transform of both sides. Laplace transform of V of T will equal the Laplace transform of I of T times R. Of course, R is a constant, so it comes out in front. And we're left with over here on the left-hand side, the Laplace transform of V of T. That's just capital V of S is equal to R times the Laplace transform of I of T, which is I of S. And so we see then that in the Laplace domain, Ohm's law carries on exactly the same, where the voltage represented in its Laplace transform is equal to the constant resistance value times the current represented in its Laplace form. In the Laplace domain then, if we have a resistor of value R with a voltage across it V of S, the current I of S flowing through it, then V of S is equal to R times I of S.